Hey, good day, everybody. Just as the title suggested, F them, don't beat them, be yourself. I mean, the title was pretty self explanatory. And I'm gonna, you know, just in case you all didn't uh, realize, you got 80, you got about 80% of the American population that's currently living check to check and in debt. So, you know, this channel is not a channel to where I'm going to be reading a whole bunch of statistics, but statistically speaking, you got 80% of all Americans in debt living paycheck to paycheck. And I used to be among those 80%. You see, one thing I've realized when I began to live this van life full time here in Alabama is I get a lot of weird stares. I get a lot of people that when they pull up, they see me and they move to another area. Or if I pull up next to them, they leave and they park elsewhere. I mean, it's almost like people assume whatever they assume because I'm living out of my van. And it's almost like they go out their way practically to avoid dealing with me. Now, I don't know if it's just an issue that I'm having personally or if it's an issue that a lot of people who live out of their vehicles have. So, whoever has lived out of their vehicles before at any point, for whatever reason, leave a comment below, let me know. But anyways, that's one thing I, I do notice. So, for those of you that are going to be living out of your vehicles for whatever reason, rather it's because you have to or because you choose to, because you want to travel the country, you're sick and tired of the hamster in the real lifestyle. I'm just going to just forewarn you right now that you will get people looking at you strange. You will get people not wanting to speak to you, not wanting to interact with you in any way, shape, or form. Because I guess they look at you like you're some kind of disease, you're some type of weirdo, and they just don't want to deal with you for those reasons. Now, one thing which helps me not get worked up when people act like that is, number one, I don't really care what people think. I quit caring about what people think a long time ago. And secondly, I also realized that a lot of people who want to look at me a certain way and they want to put their nose up towards me thinking they better than me because they assume that I'm homeless, living out of my vehicle. They assume I'm some kind of a loser. I'm some kind of a freeloader, whatever the case, whatever the case might be, that might be off in their mind. I mean, I look at them and I'm gonna just assume that they're probably part of the 80% of all American people that are in debt to their eyeballs, living check to check. Living that hamster in a real lifestyle, working a job that they dislike. You know, they get up every morning, take a shower, brush their teeth. You know, throw on their clothes, try to look good. You know what I'm saying? They crack on, they crack that fake smile every day. Jump in their car that they're making payments on for the next six years. You know what I'm saying? Then when they get off of work, they jump back into that car. And they go into their home that they're spending probably half their income paying for, rather it be a mortgage or rent. And then guess what? The next day when they get out of that bed, they, they get to do the same thing all over again. How fun is that? I mean, I used to be like that. And I realized 10 years ago that living like that is no fun. So I have made several measures to not ever go back to that lifestyle again. I have taken several steps over the last several years to get to where I'm at now to where I currently own my house free and clear. So I don't have to worry about paying a mortgage no longer, which frees up money so I can come out here and travel the country as I'm doing it right now. So like I say, even if I don't even if I choose not to move to Alabama, whatever, I'll just keep traveling the country extensively. Even if I choose to move to Alabama, I'm gonna still travel the country. So any rich, so whatever decision I 
I choose to make housing wise, I'm gonna travel the country regardless because it's it's in my blood. It's it's, it's you know it's what I want to do. So when people look at me a certain way and they know what's up at me or whatever the case, I don't care what they do. I don't care what they think. Because the majority of these people are among the 80% of all Americans who are living in debt, living check to check. You know, they, you know, they probably got debt to their freaking eyeballs. So when I see someone driving up in their brand new SUV or sport car or whatever the case may be, you know, I don't care. I mean, I'm not going to be one of these type of people that are going to look at them and be like, nice car, or I'm going to act like there's some kind of a God because they own a newer car. Their car is probably, their car co probably costs more than what I paid for my house and my vehicles all put together. I don't care. I just don't care. So for those of you that are wanting to come out here and live on the road and, and be a nomad, rather be part-time or full-time, for those of you that are wanting to live life beyond the boring hamster in the real life, for those of you that are wanting to live life, like for real live life and not just coexist just to pay a bunch of bills for a bunch of stuff you don't need, I mean, understand when you do that, People are going to look at you strange. People are going to pass judgment against you. They're going to have their assumptions of who they think you are. And at the end of the day, the only thing you need to worry about is who you know you are. Don't worry about what other people think. Worry about yourself. Don't worry about other people's misery. Focus on your own happiness. Or if you're living, or if you're going to be living in a vehicle because maybe you've got some financial goals you need to achieve or want to achieve. Once again, don't worry about what other people think. Don't worry about other people's misery. Worry about your goals in that case. And then one day, once your goals are met and you have what you want financially. Or you're living out of your vehicle because you want to travel the country and be a nomad. That's all I got to worry about. I mean, so one day when you wake up, your financial goals are met, you're, you're, you're happy. And then you look around and you realize that the majority of society are miserable. Well, you know, my attitude is, hey, at the end of the day, who's got the last laugh? I'm just saying. I mean, it sounds kind of corny saying it, but I'm just saying. Because knowing what I know about life. Some of the things I've been through in life, especially when it comes to my money, I fully realized that the majority of people, the, the majority of Americans in general, are miserable. I mean, think about it for a minute. I mean, how can you genuinely be happy when you're living check to check and you got dead up to your freaking eyeballs? And you're out here buying stuff because you're trying to impress a bunch of people that either A, don't even know you, B, don't even care about you, and C, don't like you even if they did get to know you. So you running around, you know, you got a lot of people running around here trying to impress this one and that one. You got a lot, I mean, there's a lot of you men out here, you know what I'm saying? You're single, you're looking for some action, so you're probably out here driving nice cars, uh, purchasing expensive clothes trying to impress the women hoping that one day you're gonna meet that chick and you're gonna score and everything's gonna be all good and I'm here to let you know man you know <laughs> I mean you will live a much more meaningful and fulfilled life of happiness if you just take the focus off of how other people feel and how other people perceive you to be and you worry about how you feel and you just do you. I mean, so basically, what I'm trying to tell you is, is just do you. Be yourself. Don't worry about other people. Who cares about other people? The only, at the end of the day, the only person that's going to live your life is you. Nobody can live your life better than you. Nobody's going to have your better interest better than you. I mean, at the end of the day, nobody is going to pay your bills. You're responsible for your own bills. 
if you choose to go out here and mess up your money because you want to try to appease this person and that person, I don't care if the people who you're trying to appease is your freaking family. At the end of the day, you're going to be responsible for your own bills. You're going to be responsible for your own health and happiness, which, by the way, your happiness and your health go together, just in case you didn't realize that. But at the end of the day, you're responsible for you. You're responsible for your own destiny. So however you want to live your life, whatever you got to do to achieve your goals, get out here and do it. If living as a nomad, part-time or full-time makes you happy, you know, do what you got to do to prepare for it and then get out here and do it. I mean, don't worry about what other people think. Don't worry about how other people feel. I don't care if it's your freaking parents. I don't care if it's your best friend. Don't worry about them. I mean, if they want to pass judgment on you, let them. If they're going to disown you, which, you know, in a healthy family environment, that wouldn't happen. But if it did happen, you know what? Continue to live your life and do what you got to do. I mean, if they really love you, they're going to come around and they're going to realize that they're wrong and you're right. So... There's more that I can probably add to this video, but I don't want to make this video too long. So I'm going to cut it right now. So until next time, everybody stay happy, do you, live you, and have a good one.